Not bad. Ten years later. All right, the master at work. Check it out. <laughs> oh, huh? Ah, uh, what have I been doing with my life? <laughs> oh, hi. Have you ever noticed how some people will get way better at certain skills than you way faster? I've also noticed this with my students for years. Some will keep growing their skills at a rapid rate while others will see some improvements at the beginning but then plateau fairly quickly. What's happening here? Are some people just destined to be better artists? I'm Mark. I've been a professional artist for over 50,000 hours and now I teach art for a living. In this life-changing episode of YouTube Art School, I'll explain the surprising difference between those who get better faster and those who don't. It's all based on science and it's something that you can start doing right away to start seeing crazy art games. Oh yikes, quickly, let's get this class started. All right, class is in session. Sit your cheeks down and pay attention. We all want to get better at certain things, right? If you're watching this, you're probably interested in getting better at art specifically, but this class actually applies to any skill, not just art. Without wasting any time, let me share with you the most important difference between someone who's going to make mad art gains in just a year's time versus someone else who might not make anywhere near as much progress even over a 10 year period. It's the holy grail for artists. It can literally be life-changing. It sure was for me. So what is it? Well, it's the distinction between practice and deliberate practice. Deliberate practice. What's that? In today's class, I'll quickly go over what makes practice deliberate, how that's different from regular practice, and how you can start practicing art deliberately too with some important mistakes to avoid. I'm basing a lot of this on personal experience over many years, but also on multiple scientific studies referenced in a Harvard Business article that I'll link in the description of the video if you want to read it all after this. This stuff just works and you'll be much better equipped as an artist by just sticking around for the next couple minutes and paying the class fee of either one like or one sub. It's very affordable and it helps me pay for my office repair bills every week. Thank you. So what's the difference between regular practice and deliberate practice? I'll start with a quote I really like from the article where a violin coach was telling a famous student how much they should practice. He said, it really doesn't matter how long. If you practice with your fingers, no amount is enough. If you practice with your head, two hours is plenty. This is a really good way to show the importance of deliberate practice and its effectiveness and how well this is known amongst experts. Regular practice is practicing what you already know. It's rehearsal in a way, like recalling something from memory. You're not really learning anything new in a process. It might be what you do in your sketchbook while drawing from imagination. It's practice you can accomplish within a distracting environment maybe among friends or while, you know, half watching a TV show or a YouTube art school class. <laughs> Deliberate practice is different. It requires considerable, specific and sustained efforts to do something you can't do well or even at all. It's basically practice that you do to eliminate your weaknesses. Not all weaknesses though, of course, only those that are important to your goals, the ones you care about. Deliberate practice involves two kinds of learning improving the skills you already have, not just rehearsing them, and extending the reach and range of your skills. It also requires our full focus. It's very demanding for the brain and as a result, most people can't do more than two to three hours of it every day. If you're a very focused person, you might be able to do up to like four hours in a day, but that's generally the scientific limit to human focus. Any more than that, and the practice is no longer deliberate. The brain won't take any more until you rest. I made an arguably very interesting class on the topic of focus a few months back. I definitely recommend you check it out after this. Link in the description. So anyways, regular practice doesn't require much focus and doesn't translate to any significant improvement. Meanwhile, deliberate practice requires your complete focus. This should be good news, right? It means if you dedicate only about two hours of deliberate practice each day on average, you'll nearly max out your potential growth as an artist and get real good real fast. That's something that most people can afford to do. It's not like I'm telling you you gotta put in like eight to 10 hours a day. So here's how you practice art deliberately. In 
three specific steps. If you've been half following so far, this is where you need your full focus. Don't let yourself down. This is a game changer. So here we go. First, learn the theory behind a subject that you're interested in. Let's take anatomy, for example. You'll want to educate yourself maybe on certain muscle groups, on body proportions, or learning individual muscles of the, the arm, let's say. Whatever skill it is you're trying to expand, learn the theory. Then second, you'll want to draw those things you've studied using multiple references, references that clearly show what it's supposed to look like so that you have a clear visual target to aim for. Use references. And then third, finally, you need feedback. No practice is deliberate without feedback. This is where an expert coach or teacher comes in, not only to demonstrate what you're not doing well, and how it should be corrected, but also to teach you how to give yourself feedback eventually. Learning the theory, finding the right references and getting feedback is not as straightforward for everyone, though some artists can find all these pieces on their own. But if you need help, I definitely recommend you check out my complete art education program link in the description. I have a lot of stuff for free here on YouTube, but if you want a solid structure, assignments and a like a community to accompany you on your art journey, check below for a coupon code for a massive discount that I'm extending into this month only. The curriculum takes your hand starting at the basics all the way to some super advanced topics. You'll know exactly what to focus on throughout the two years I recommend to complete it. It's perfect for artists of all skill levels, including complete beginners and you can do it with Photoshop, Clip Studio Paint, Procreate, almost any painting software will do. Check it out. I have over 11,000 students for a reason. All right, plug over. Now, before I wrap this class up, let's quickly take a look at three important mistakes to avoid for your deliberate practice. One that comes back very often is the question of whether or not to study from other artists you like or do master studies, for example. To go back to what I was just saying about learning how to give yourself feedback, this is the kind of exercise you would only really benefit from after you've learned a substantial amount of theory and practiced for a long time, after you've built quite a bit of experience. Otherwise, and I'm sure many of you who went to traditional art schools will relate, you just have no idea what you're supposed to look for. There's a hard limit to what you can observe when your knowledge is limited. The more experienced artists will be able to extract a lot more knowledge out of the same reference. Particularly important when the artist has a specific style that deviates from what reality looks like. Another mistake is to think that all practice must be deliberate. That is certainly not the case. Art is also meant for expressing ourselves, so it's important to keep some time purely for fun. It's best to do both. I like to recommend doing some intense studies for like one to two hours while your focus tank is full. Earlier in the day is best since we lose focus throughout the day. After the one to two hours of deliberate practice, move on to regular practice working on art that feels well within your comfort zone. Stuff that's not too challenging that you enjoy most. Deliberate practice can be frustrating and, you know, leave a sour taste sometimes. So regular practice will help you end the day on a good note and associate a positive feeling to art. A lot of people do the complete opposite and that drives them away from art forever sometimes. That's not good. Now, finally, the last mistake is to not be subscribed to the channel and skipping YouTube art school classes. That's not so much a mistake as it is illegal. If you're still here though, Papa Mark is proud of you. As a reward, go ahead and grab one of my two main custom brush sets for free in the video description if you haven't already. I also recreated the brush I used to create all my line art drawings, like the one I did today in the background here, specifically for Clip Studio Paint. Now it feels just like it does in Photoshop and it's awesome. Link in the description too. Next class, probably, if everything goes well, I'll show you how I color this in Clip Studio Paint. What? C Clip Studio Paint and not Photoshop? What happened to me? Oh, you won't want to miss it. See you then. What have I been doing with my life? <laughs>